have magnet traction, the permanent track ripping power. See Lionel trains with magnet traction. Created in the 1950s, magnet traction was achieved by magnetizing the wheels on Lionel locomotives. This allows for a train to climb higher grades, pull more train cars, and run at faster speeds without falling off the tracks. One of Lionel's famous examples of magnet traction is the D27 disappearing train layout. Take a look. One problem with magnet traction is that the tracks had to be steel in order for the magnetic wheels to grip the rails. After 1969, Lionel was bought and magnet traction was dropped. General Mills, the new owners for a period of time, switched over to rubber traction tires and are still in use today in modern Lionel locomotives. To compare the two, I will be doing a pull test. On one side, I have a Lionel post-war S3 with one motor and magnet traction. On the other side is the MPC Lionel GP20 with one motor and a pair of traction tires on a power truck. Behind the engines are a load of gondolas, two flat cars with loads, a searchlight car, and a work caboose. Beginning with the F3, it starts off with a strong tug on the cars and glides smoothly down the rails. No problem with the F3 whatsoever. Moving on to the GP20, it's a slow start, but the engine manages to pull the train. I can start to hear some wheel slip on the curves, but so far, so good. Here's a close-up cam of the wheels. Well, that concludes the test. Let's see the verdict. 
Post-war Lionel F3 pros and cons. Magnet traction, stronger pull. Looks nice. Heavy and sturdily built. Cost, can be expensive on eBay, but can also be found cheap on rare occasions. Mine costed $40. MPC GP20 Pros and Cons Traction Tires Strong pull, but you need to replace them from time to time. Can't have wheel slips. Looks nice. Light and sturdily built. Cost Can be inexpensive since MPC engines are less desirable by collectors. And the winner is the Lionel F3. Although not the cheapest, it makes up in tractive effort and looks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.